Hey traders and welcome to my new trading psychology uh, video series and this is the second video and I will talk about uh, motivation and I will talk about the reasons of our laziness. Uh, if you guys remember in my first lesson I talked about the cortical areas of our brain and I also revealed you the secret of being talented. Uh, it is simply the number of uh, links uh, between neurons uh, within one area. Uh, for example, if you are talented uh, for some visual work, for example, differentiating some colors, this means that your uh, visual area has lots of uh, neurons connected to each other. Lots of neurons connected to each other. Uh, this may be for two reasons. First of all, this area is very large and you have uh, lots of billions of neurons and each neurons has two three connections yes or this area is not very large and you have several millions of neurons but these neurons have thousands of connections each so the um, the result is the number of connections of course if you have large number of neurons uh, you are talented, you are gifted from nature. It is much easier for you to install connections between neurons because larger number of neurons, if you install one, two, three neurons a day, this will be large number of connections daily. And if you have small number of neurons, yes, uh, you need to force yourself to install new neurons uh, because uh, the number of neurons is limited. Well, uh, for more detailed information, watch my first video. Okay, in today's video we'll talk about motivation, but we need uh, first to talk about uh, two main matters of our brain. So let's look inside our brain. So the areas are the surface of our brain, but what is inside our brain? So let's cut it laterally. And so what we see our brain looks pretty much this way. So this area is called gray matter, gray matter, and inside area is called white matter. Okay. Gray matter and white matter. So uh, the gray matter is what we call cortex. And the white matter is what we call subcortex, below cortex. Okay, so the gray matter has different widths depending on human, individual widths. Uh, that's why uh, you may have a uh, pretty large surface of your, um, of your area, but the width of that surface may be not that very large. That's why uh, the number, total number of neurons may be smaller than uh, the same number of neurons of the same area uh, somebody else has. That's why potential connections can be less. Okay, so hope you understand this. Uh, next thing uh, to explain is that um, in white matter we already have pre-installed connections when we are born. So these connections actually are responsible for those uh, for controlling these uh, instinctive functions like breathing, swallowing, uh, hormone uh, injecting, uh, some other blood pressure, and all that stuff that is not voluntary. And these connections are already installed, and it is uh, very hard to destroy one connection here or install a new connection here inside of that white uh, matter. But inside of that gray matter, immediately after we are born, yes, all these neurons, they are kind of empty. Uh, they have very slow connections to each other. And immediately after you are born, you start growing your connections with a very huge speed. Uh, because all these connections are those that you acquire during your life. Uh, you acquire imitating your parents, you acquire 
looking at some facts, phenomena, remembering something, and so on and so forth. So, okay, there are two main human ages uh, when uh, a human being becomes a human being. There is uh, some kind of edge here. So, uh, the most critical part of a human being is the age from zero to seven years. From zero to seven years. Because the majority of all uh, connections inside of your gray uh, matter are installed during this period. The latter, uh, from seven till death, you install much less connections. So everything you know about the world, everything you know uh, about yourself and uh, about being a human is installed during this zero to seven years. It is true that if you were not socialized during that period, you never become a human. And there are multiple examples of this that are called Maugli. Maugli. In India, uh, people uh, dislike uh, offsprings, female offsprings, female children, yes? And that's why they uh, bring them to jungle, to the jungle, and leave them there. And there are numerous examples when these uh, children actually grown up uh, in wild nature. And if later they are found by people, uh, by humans, uh, people uh, found that they were unable to socialize them back. Uh, so these guys who brought up in the wood from zero to seven years, is impossible to learn uh, speech, uh, to uh, obey some rules, uh, to do something. Because the connections, the number of connections that he installed is so great that it is impossible to uh, ruin them and install new connections. Okay, let's do some uh, mathematics calculating that. So the speed of installing connections here when you are a child from 0 to 7 is around 100, around 100. Uh, synapses per one neuron a day yes ND neuron day uh, this means that daily a uh, child from 0 to 7 installs uh, around 100 synapses synapse means connections synapses okay but a uh, an adult from z from 7 to uh, to unlimited, yes, to to 100, let's say it this way, installs only three synapses on average on one neuron daily, only three synapses. If you will compare this and this, the speed is 32 times, 32 times. Okay, now we can calculate so, if from 0 to 7 years, you install 100 connections per day, yes, we can calculate it. How many connections you install total? So, 7 years multiplied 365, so you see the number of days, multiplied 100 connections. Uh, blah 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 it equals quarter million connections total installed per one neuron yes now let's calculate this stuff uh, we don't know the uh, time we can live that's why we may live 80 years 90 years 100 years so we will do it a bit different way uh, in order, uh, if uh, a human being installed quarter million connections inside of wild nature, so these connections 
uh, supporting him, telling him that he is an animal, and they tell him how to act as an animal. So in order to socialize that guy, we need to ruin these animal connections, and instead of that, we need to install human connections, social connections. So let's say every time we ruin one animal connection, at the same time we install one human connection, yes? So total we need to destroy 255,000 connections and install 255,000 connections. Quarter of a million destroy and quarter of a million to install. Okay, quarter of a million of connections should be replaced. Well, let's do it, but our speed is only three connections daily. How much time will it take us to do that? So quarter of a million connections divided by three, it will equal uh, 85k days. 85k days. Yes? So 85k days, how many years we have? Yes, divided by 365, it is approximately 230 years. So you see this? What you acquire during this period, you will need 230 years to replace. That's why it is impossible to socialize Mowgli. Okay, uh, now you know it. And uh, here's my question. If you install so many connections uh, from seven till uh, from zero till seven, so many connections. This means that all your talents, all your talents, uh, will uh, become evident at the age of seven, because all those connections will be already installed, and the larger number of uh, neurons you have. Uh, the larger number of uh, connections you have as well. So if you are talented for mathematics, till the age of seven it will be obvious that you have some talents in mathematics. Uh, the problem is that you may be talented for mathematics, but you may not be interested in mathematics uh, as a child. And uh, you may be trying to draw, you may be trying to sing, to listen, or whatever. Uh, as an adult, as a, uh, an adult, parents should uh, give to his child uh, different ways to express himself and let him child uh, simply choose uh, what he likes better. Uh, from zero to seven he installs all possible connections and uh, one of the area uh, starts dominating. Yes, from seven to eighteen, to eighteen, yes, uh, there is a common period. Uh, the only thing that your child is thinking of is replication. Uh, well, uh, after this period ends from 18 and till the rest of your life, uh, this is a human being that can be actually um, can be taught something. <laughs> because at this period, at this very period, it is uh, only driven by hormones. The behavior of this guy is driven by hormones. It is acting like an animal here. Okay, so the first period you install majority of your connections. If these connections are good, they are very social, yes? Then they somehow will control the second period and uh, they will prevent uh, hormones from acting uh, too much and of course they will later help in the end period so it is not here when you need to fight your child yes it is here where you need to uh, educate your child here you cannot educate you can only fight <laughs> because of uh, hormones okay it is here so from zero to seven years this means that from zero to seven years your child uh, either becomes talented for trading or it does not become talented for trading. If you watch this video, mo most likely you are not talented for trading. 
this is very simple as that if you were talented for trading it would look this way you looked at the chart and you say to your father at the age of three for example you have uh, you are a three uh, three year old boy and you say to your father you know what that uh, oil futures will rise because you just saw the TV uh, program and you say the guy on TV says nonsense the chart says that oil will rise and uh, later your father realizes that indeed oil rises next time you look some Apple stocks at the age of three you say to your dad you know dad uh, stock will fall and they say nonsense and uh, it falls so this means that you are talented at the age of three to five to six to seven you already uh, showing some signs of being talented it is like uh, being Mozart at the age of uh, four or six or five he already created his masterpieces that are not anyhow uh, repeated nowadays even nowadays the six-year-old child created masterpieces so this is genius well because you watch these videos uh, I suppose that you are uh, older than six-year-old boys or six-year-old girls and this means that you are not talented for trading so the only thing that you can do is the hard work installing uh, new connections you have no natural inclinations for that otherwise you would uh, solve the problem yourself and uh, learn how to trade without any help without any assistance moreover you would assist others because you are talented okay now uh, let us uh, continue so the white connection uh, white matter uh, it uh, it almost does not install any connection white matter so let me draw it back gray matter white matter so when you uh, install some connections and you repeat something again and again and again and again and again so you install more and more connections more and more connections and finally finally your white matter installs this connection so this is called a habit uh, when something becomes reflectory it becomes subconscious uh, like uh, I don't know playing the guitar if you play the guitar play the guitar play the guitar I don't know for 10 years every day 10 hours a day and then you stop playing guitar for 50 years and then you back take the guitar you will most likely play the guitar uh, not as good but still better than others who never played that uh, okay so uh, now let me show you how uh, the connections are installed and what is the mechanisms so uh, suppose we have a neuron and we have another neuron yes uh, the mechanism of memory the mechanism of understanding something it looks this way so we can send signal here and we can send signal here in both directions one signal this direction that direction or simultaneously these are two neurons this is the connection between them link between them exon uh, synapse or whatever you call it okay if you think about something if you sorry if you don't think about something you only send one synapse or uh, one signal here one signal there and this takes nine percent of your energy if you start thinking about something you increase the number of signals simultaneous signals now you can see instead of two signals you are sending four signals at the same time yes two times greater so the total number of signals that you can send uh, is limited by axons and uh, you can send up to six signals uh, inside by axon in both directions uh, well and uh, this requires to increase energy up to 25 percent you need more energy your energy goes up if you think so uh, but the problem is that if you work this way if you work that hard uh, consume 25% of your total body energy 
total body energy total of what you eat breathe drink uh, whatever you use as your energy is consumed by your brain 25 percent when you think well uh, you will become exhausted in in a week and you will die so our brain uh, prevents us from doing this and uh, it is using the following mechanism every time our energy decreases yes our brain injects uh, the so-called hormones but they are actually drugs what are these drugs oxytocin that's in one of them oxytocin uh, cannabinoids cannabinoids opioids opioids so these are a uh, uh, few of them just three of them but uh, they are nothing but drugs uh, well every time the energy decreases energy dries up you feel pleased you feel happier you feel um, relaxed so uh, this is much more pleasant uh, state uh, of mind and uh, quickly enough you become addicted to these drugs uh, what this means becoming addicted uh, this means that without these drugs you feel depressed you feel stressed you feel ill at ease okay so what happens every time when your energy decreases increases sorry you feel ill at ease you feel stressed and depression and every time your energy decreases you feel happiness you feel uh, relaxation and other stuff see this so this is the mechanism how our brain fights from uh, activity it is much more pleasant to stay lazy not to think at all and let others tell us what to do instead of thinking myself let others tell me what I need to do so majority of guys will do this uh, the second mechanism to decrease uh, the energy supply is to grow additional link here yes and instead of uh, sending four signals here and four signals here just send two signals here and two signals there this requires less energy but first you need to grow this link and growing some link takes time it may take one day two days three days uh, 21 days uh, or whatever they say that uh, during 21 days you can install whatever link inside of your cortex uh, well uh, maybe I, I i don't know that maybe so now you see the difference between dynamic memory and static memory so the dynamic memory is the following that uh, you increase the energy and you remember something you understand something you learn something uh, using your old connections but then when the energy dries up yes you forget everything you learned yes and then when you increase it you again uh, learn something and then when it decreases you again forget and it will happen until you install the new connection that will uh, drive the sig signals uh, without any energy uh, not depending on the energy okay so this is the static memory uh, of course it is not static uh, not that very static because if we compare this and this gray matter and white matter uh, this may be easily destroyed if you do not feed it with nutrition if you do not feed this with blood supply uh, for example you only train your motor areas and you do not train your visual areas uh, blood supply will go from here to here yes and uh, these neurons will have less nutrition and uh, that's why connections here will be lost 
to reverse this thing, you need to uh, have some blood supply here. I talked about this in the first video. Okay, so uh, the reason for being lazy is that our every time our energy dries up, uh, dries up, we are injected some drugs. We are actually addicted to drugs. Uh, well, so uh, now let's talk about motivation. Uh, the only motivation for us as human beings to do something is the uh, instinctive motivation. The only instinct that we have is a survival instinct. Survival instinct. And we can uh, later split that uh, survival instinct into parts. Okay, so uh, the first part is eat. We need to eat to survive. The second part is replicate. Need to replicate, otherwise our human uh, species will uh, die. Yes, humanity will die. And we need to dominate. Uh, domination, dominance, dominate. Uh, is uh, a very interesting thing and it only needed when you are uh, socialized, when you live in some groups. Uh, if you dominate, you have better food, so you eat more. And you have more chances for replicate. You have more girls, you have uh, more respect and so on. So these uh, motivators acting nowadays exactly the same way as they were acting millions and millions years ago because these motivators are coded inside our white area they are not uh, coded inside of our uh, cortex or inside of our associative regions of our cortex yes they are coded inside of our white area and you can do nothing about them they will always uh, they will always demand uh, you to uh, to eat replicate or dominate they demand they are shouting you to do that so how you can uh, please these uh, instincts how you can please these instincts there are two ways the first one is animal and the second one is human okay so the first one let's talk about the animal way of uh, eating if you wish to eat if you are hungry what you do you go and grab some food uh, but what if this food belongs to somebody else if you are an animal you don't care yes you simply steal but if you are a human you do care because associative regions of your mind will prevent you from animalistic behavior because it can tell you uh, what is the result of such behavior you can be imprisoned and if you can be imprisoned this is the outcome that you don't want to happen that's why you go the difficult way instead of just grabbing food you go to work you generate some money then you go to supermarket and then you uh, pay for some food this is not very effective if compared uh, to animals animals uh, eat much easier grab food and eat instead of working and doing all that blah 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 stuff okay next replication from the animal perspective uh, what you need to replicate yourself well you go outside of your house maybe yes if you have a house you go to the street and uh, you rape somebody that's it most likely you will guaranteed be replicated if you rape somebody well fast and effective but what you need to do as a human to replicate yourself well you need to find uh, a girl or a boy whatever you wish yes then you need to install some kind of relationships in majority of countries and the majority of religions you first need to install some family 
you need some wedding and only then you can replicate uh, yourself and uh, born a child well that's it okay uh, what you need to dominate what you need to dominate in animal world you just go outside for example you are a cat and you see some other cat uh, walking here so you just fight him yes uh, what you do to dominate in uh, human life well if you simply go and fight uh, everybody on the street <laughs> it, it, it not it is not the best way to dominate uh, humans do it a bit smarter uh, in order to dominate uh, you first need to be smart you need to uh, study at school if you if you are the best uh, in school then uh, you dominate or you may go in for sports and uh, if you are uh, good in sports uh, you dominate as a sportsman yes uh, you need to do some activity that will tell everybody that you are the best of the best uh, in this very activity so this way you will dominate uh, of course if you are the best in some area uh, you will have more salary uh, for example you are uh, the only uh, nuclear physics uh, professor who knows uh, how to uh, I don't know create nuclear uh, accumulators or whatever yes you are the only one so people will uh, pay million dollars to you only to have you uh, in their team uh, and of course if you are the best football player uh, of the world uh, all your girls <laughs> uh, all girls will uh, luckily replicate with you uh, because you dominate as you as being the the best uh, and it doesn't matter if you are smart or not yes if you are the best football player on earth uh, well you still have salary and you still have uh, replication uh, possibilities okay so these are the motivators why I enumerated these motivators and why uh, do we need them actually uh, what makes us human is this associative region this one yes uh, it is uh, simply uh, inhibits our animalistic behavior because it can project the future we can think we can project that in future it doesn't worth it we don't want to go into jail uh, we don't want to be imprisoned uh, that's why if we eat we eat a specific way if we replicate we replicate specific way humanistic way if we dominate we dominate humanic way and so on and so forth so these associative regions they are inhibiting our animal uh, motivators and uh, there is a big problem if you inhibit 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 yourself and inhibit 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 yourself what happens here you install lots of connections at some period of time you install so many connections that these motivators don't uh, become no motivators anymore you are no longer interested in eating replicating or dominating so when you are not interested in eating this is called anorexia anorexia and it is the only thing that is responsible for anorexia disease is this enormous number of connections here inside of associative region that prevents you from taking food from eating okay so uh, probably uh, you understood uh, the, the difference so uh, but what you can do instead instead of suppressing your uh, animal uh, motivators you need to use them smartly for example uh, if you need to uh, by the way these uh, animal motivators they are the only way ones who can find fight your laziness 
And remember that uh, on the other side, these are making us active and oxytocin that's in cannabinoids, opioids, they are making us passive, yes? So uh, these can fight these. Uh, but you uh, need to use them smart. Uh, well, how you can do it? Uh, well, through dominance, for example, uh, you can learn how to trade and uh, actually you can dominate telling everybody that you are a trader. And uh, well, uh, lots of people uh, will uh, actually hire you and uh, give you some salary lots of uh, girls will actually likely to uh, replicate with you and uh, well this is a nice methodology just become a good trader uh, not simply tell everybody that you are a trader but uh, become a good trader so this is a good uh, motivation and uh, Another motivation is, uh, let me use this eat motivation. There are lots of experiments that actually uh, show uh, how people uh, and how animals act when they don't have some food. So from zero to three days, from zero to three days, uh, they feel tired tired uh, then day number 4 to 21 uh, actually much hard, much uh, longer than 21 but uh, 21 is some somewhat average they feel active active activity increased and starting from 21 uh, they feel exhausted exhausted become exhausted and uh, late they will die okay so if you don't eat from uh, zero to three days, uh, you feel some tired. Uh, your uh, food, you don't have food uh, coming from outside and the food that was inside of you already digested and you don't have any other uh, sources of energy. Uh, on day number four, your uh, body, your body will switch the uh, nutrition plan and instead of uh, taking nutrition from the outside food it will take nutrition from the inside food and this source of inside food primarily is your fat so you will start uh, losing your fat burning your fat and because fats are very energetic your mind will have an increased level of energy and instead of sending one signal from one urine to another urine yes you will send up to six signals here and there so this naturally leads uh, for some kind of enlightenment there are thousands of stories when people say that they understand something when they don't eat for one week for example uh, they uh, feel enlightenment when they uh, spend uh, two weeks fasting or whatever. So uh, everything becomes obvious. Uh, your brain is acting very nice. Uh, you become smart. Everything becomes easy. And uh, you understand life. You understand yourself. You understand uh, everybody. You even see some hidden motives of others at this second stage second stage uh, well as I told you this second stage may vary it depends on the uh, fat that you have when the fat finished uh, then the third stage starts so if it finishes during 21 days if you were not fat uh, then uh, after 21st day you will start feeling exhausted so you need to stop your fasting and start eating. Uh, otherwise, you will damage yourself. Uh, if you had lots of fat, 
yes then you can uh, enlarge that second stage uh, the world record is somewhat around 400 days fasting eating nothing and the guy who did that in the beginning of that experiment was 180 kilos and in the end he turned into 70 kilograms turned into 70 kilograms so as you can see 70 kilograms is not even close to being exhausted exhausted would be 35 kilograms yes uh, well it is not even close to that so he could fast further but he start eating and uh, lots of doctors and uh, professors uh, they actually registered this fact and uh, he lost uh, more than 100 uh, kilograms of fat pure fat he just burned it uh, fasting and during all that period of fasting 400 days of fasting he felt enormously good he felt increased energy level he he felt smart and so on. Uh, well uh, as I told you there were numerous uh, experiments uh, studying these facts thousands and thousands of humans uh, animals and uh, other uh, beings uh, were tested and uh, the three stages are pretty much the same uh, that during the second stage your uh, eat instinct increases your energy and makes your brain work so this way you can fight your inclination for being lazy this is only one of the ways another one is replication and one more is dominate uh, of course but this one is the fastest and uh, this one is the uh, i don't know it, it depends on nobody the other two replication and domination it depends on uh, your fellow mates but this one depends on nobody so you can eat or you can uh, not eat uh, being alone well uh, so this is the way to increase your uh, brain uh, mobility brain motivation uh, increase your smartness uh, you can do it every year for example and uh, our ancestors uh, our ancient our grandpas grandmas uh, they already noticed it long be long ago and uh, they actually created those uh, fasting periods four times a year four times a year at least in christianity uh, we are fasting and uh, well uh, it is not fasting uh, the religion fasting is not that fasting that means eating nothing but it is uh, some kind of restriction in eating not everything and uh, what this lead it leads uh, it makes you purificated uh, so uh, what mostly purifies is that your energy becomes greater and you uh, start understanding something better and that's why you become more pure okay let me uh, if i can put it this way well uh, that's it uh, for today so now you know the motivation you know the reason for your laziness uh, you know where can you get that motivation uh, and you know the uh, uh, the foundations for that uh, that is in our brain okay uh, next time i will tell you more